want to bring your attention to a Bloomberg news article from today. A um, couple of interesting admissions. TEPCO saying it has found traces of radioactive iodine-131 near its uh, western facility, Kasha Wazika, Waziki. Um, and they're saying it in terms of that plant safe, this stuff drifted over from Fukushima. Uh, so they're kind of claiming like a false positive. I don't know, I, w I need to learn more about ocean drift, but it seems weird that seaweed from the eastern coast of Japan would drift around the island and into the western uh, waters there. The other interesting thing in this article is that it states radiation leaks from the three reactor meltdowns at Fukushima rank the accident on the same scale as the Chernobyl disaster in 86. Up till now I've always been hearing it referred to as the worst uh, nuclear accident since Chernobyl and always wondered how that was possible. I mean, Chernobyl was the worst, right? And if this is on scale, I mean, it can't be on scale. It's, it's more meltdown and more reactors, more time has gone by with less information coming out. I want to make a point here too about trace amounts and how often that gets interpreted as safe amounts. Um, you know, trace amounts of lead maybe are safe. Trace amounts of radioaction is all it takes to kill you, you know? Any reporting you're going to see about amounts will always refer to them as trace amounts, but it's my understanding it only takes one particle lodged in one little part of your lung to fuck your day.